the Kansas Senator, Roger Marshall, is calling for the Department of Justice to investigate ESPN's role in Texas and Oklahoma's move to the SEC. This, here's his statement, okay? While the terms of the contract are unknown to me, it's important to note the U.S. Supreme Court has decided that the exclusive right to televise all league games is a violation of antitrust laws. While the Sports Broadcasting Act of 1961 was passed to overturn this decision for professional football, college football broadcast packages are not subject to the antitrust exemption in that law. I write today to ask that the DOJ investigate ESPN's role in the potential destruction of the Big 12 Conference and if any anti-competitive or illegal behavior occurred relating to manipulating the conference change or ESPN's contractual television rights. Now, he went to Kansas State uh, for his undergrad and then went to the University of Kansas School of Medicine. But basically, it's it, is, is the Department of Justice going to even look into this? I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, I, 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 they've looked into lower stuff. They've, yeah. I mean, they've looked into lesser important things. So I feel very, very conflicted here, okay? One, do the question is very clear. Do you think ESPN tampered? Do you think ESPN broke any violations of, of, of tampering rules and laws? That is a, that's a loaded question. I think that they let it be known through back channels. I don't think anybody at ESPN reached out to anybody at Texas or Oklahoma. I think it was made known to them, hey, if you stay in the Big 12, your TV contract probably going to go down in 2025. If you move over here, maybe we'll give you a little little bump. That's what I think. So, so I, I, but, but at the end of the day, so in in the in the eyes of criminality legality, if somebody was was paid to send that message, it it doesn't it doesn't matter who the actual messenger is, okay? Like if 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 I hired you to break the law, I you're again you broke the law and I broke the law, yeah. okay? So so that's so who back the word back channel makes this illegal? Like it like everything it it didn't happen. So. There's a part of me that you know, you know my libertarian leanings and how I don't like the government getting involved in like civil litigation shit between companies. But my issue, this this is where I feel conflicted because the majority of the schools affected by this are all state public schools. Yeah. Okay? So I don't want tax dollars going to investigate this, but I also don't want tax dollars being taken from people because ESPN broke the rules. Yeah. Violated some type of, of, of rule or whatever. And I don't want some company getting away with, I guess, shady pool. I mean, it's, so, if you, so if you look at conflicted. it, it, yeah. It, and see, I've been conflicted about this whole thing as well, because obviously I've said multiple times, I do think it's bad for the sport. However, I mean, it is Oklahoma and Texas's right to move conferences if they feel that it's a better situation it's, for them. That's that's irrelevant. That is but, irrelevant. Right, right, right. But, but hold on, hold it's, on. It's your, it, it, I understand it, it's it, they can do what they want to do. The issue is that they like them leaving Oklahoma and Texas leaving eliminates a ton of jobs because those other schools are not worth nearly as much as Texas and Oklahoma. So where they are making thirty eight million dollars a year in media rights deals, if they have to drop down to fifteen or lower per season. That's a ton of jobs at eight different schools. Now, at two of them are private, but six other public schools that it just jobs disappear. Yeah. Never to be made up again. My 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 issue, Gary, is not did they have the decision to make it. It's were they illegally given information that broke the antitrust violation of the, the clauses of the rules that actually helped them make that decision. Okay. So so like if if you if you find evidence, then you found evidence. Okay. If you sat down and did the math on your own, your Texas and Oklahoma, and you said, "Hey, I don't think this is going to be a good deal for us. Let's break off and, and join this other club." There's nothing wrong with that. But if somebody leaks, breaks the law, breaks breaks a a you know the trust or the spirit of whatever contracts are involved between the Big Twelve and the SEC, and 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 leaks information to those schools, and then then they make those decisions. Well, shit, this is a, 
bad deal for us. We need to go make it. That they've done just what they're being accused of doing. Well, let's they, let's look at know? it this way: if if they, so we all remember, I think it was March when the Big Twelve and that bunch reached out to ESPN and to Fox and said, "We would like to extend our rights." Let, let's go on past 2025. We want to know where we stand fiscally. We we just want to see what's going on. And both ESPN and Fox told them, eh, we're going to wait this thing out. Like, we got to figure out this playoff thing. Let's, you know, we don't know exactly what you guys are worth. Let's just hold up. So it wasn't just ESPN. It was also Fox that, that said, no, nah, we're going to play this out. But that happened in March. Gary. That happened in March. So in March. Do you know why the question got asked in March? Texas under oath has the, the 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 people who run Texas under oath have recently just said, when did you start talking to, to the SEC about this? Well, about six months ago. Well, that, no, no, was, no, they, that was earlier than March. They no, they said in in the spring, is what they said in in the Senate meeting. Jay Hartzell said that they reached out to the SEC in the spring. So if that is the tipping point, so if then, we can find any information that it happening before March. But, Any but conversations is it, at all. But here's the question. Is it illegal if Texas and Oklahoma reached out to the SEC and the SEC explained, well, yeah, I mean, if y'all join but, us, but that's we'll not make what this we're looking much. For. That's not, we're not looking for information of when Texas and Oklahoma reached out to the SEC. We're looking for information of when Texas and Oklahoma got the information that the, SC, the ESPN is not going to be interested in the Big 12 as it's constituted currently. Yeah. And if okay. that happened before March – then we have a problem. Then yep. ESPN absolutely violated these antitrust rules. They they absolutely violated the 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 letter of which their contract is con- constructed. They yeah, hundred percent did this. There's no doubt in my mind that ESPN did this. Okay, they're the only ones that have the most to gain. Yeah, always, oh yeah, yeah, always yeah, look at who has the most to gain. All right, who had Biggie killed? Yeah, I'm going to tell you who had Biggie killed. Puff Daddy had Biggie killed because nobody in the world grew bigger than Puff Daddy grew. Nobody made more money off of Biggie's death than Puff Daddy. All right? I, I, I had, he had, I had I think never he had thought that of that. I'd be missing you song already written before he died. All right? I, I did then, not realize on today's podcast that you would be comparing the SEC to Puff Daddy. Like, <laughs> follow the money. Always see who benefits from every deal, and then that'll tell you who broke the rules. Or if, they, if rules were broken or not. ESPN, does Texas win? Yeah, they win a little. They don't win yeah. a lot. Like, like they're they're already making between their deals probably around 40, 45 million. That 45 million turns to 60 million. Okay, great. Hey, that's awesome for them. All right? But that extra 15 million ain't going to change their life. They're the richest school in the country. Yeah, and they're, they're, they're at the department's already 225 million. I mean, it's, yeah. So, so, so this isn't about this isn't about just their money. All right, they didn't do this for the extra 15 million a year. All right, the people who have the most to gain from this is ESPN. Probably that's 100 percent right. the truth, which is why that's where I'm going to go. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.